Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing how I'm organizing my Notion for the new academic year. Notion has been so useful for staying organized, especially in university. Most of you may already know what Notion is, but in short, it's an all-in-one workspace where you can keep everything from to-do lists and notes to calendars and documents. It's like a digital bullet journal meets planner. If you have a student email, you can sign up for the personal pro plan for free, or you can sign up for the free personal plan with any other email. If you want to duplicate my workspace, you can click the link and download it. The Notion template is an updated version of the one I shared in the beginning of 2021. And so in this video, I will show you how to set it up and point out the changes from the previous template. So if you use my old template, you can probably just duplicate the new pages or the things you want to add instead of starting the workspace all over again. And with that said, let's get organized. Here is the new dashboard landing page. It's pretty similar to the old one, except some pages are missing and I updated the photos. I decided to delete the pages that I never used and my goal with this version was to make it more minimalistic but also more seamless across the workspace. In the random practice page, I added some more Notion resources for you guys. So now you can easily access Notion shortcuts and different logos if you prefer those over emojis for your page icons. In the learning and ideas section, I updated Ideas Forest to have a Kanban board as I found it more intuitive for projects that follow a set process. And in the online courses page, I embedded links to some online courses, but you could of course delete this if you don't want them. These were all of the minor changes. Now to the major changes, which are all in the university dashboard. Firstly, the today page is now turned into a weekly to-do list, and it's now synced to the university dashboard using the new synced block feature. This means that you can see all your tasks listed for the week either in its own separate page, like before, or when you enter the uni dashboard. I just found this way more organized than having just a daily to-do list and having it all on a separate page. Then if you scroll down under your courses, you will find a new table with important dates this week. It's set up so that it will show you all your assignments, labs, quizzes, exams, and anything marked as an important date for the coming week. And when you tick an item as done, it will disappear from the list. This list is tied to your mastery schedule, so anything that is in there will show up here automatically. I also added two landing pages where you can safely store your old setup if you need to. Now let's take a look at the master schedule. The first to update here is that the landing page is now a calendar. This will show you all your tasks in a neat calendar format and it's more useful for a monthly slash long term overview of what you have coming up. The remaining table views are more or less identical, but I've added a new filter so that the tables only show tasks that are in the current semester. I also did some updates to the course pages. Now when you create a new course, there is an extra filter called courses. This will now automatically link all the items added in the master schedule to that course. And this is how the master schedule can filter out everything that isn't in the current semester. And it's used for the new grade calculator page as well. For the space repetition view, I decided to only keep the list with a field of how the progress is rather than having two separate pages. The only new page that I've added is the grade calculator. This is also tied to the master schedule, so again, everything will be added here automatically. How it works is that if the notes to a task contains the percentage symbol, it will add the task automatically to a list of graded work. All you have to write is how you scored and what the maximum possible score was. The rest calculates itself. If you have multiple things graded in a course, you can create a view for that course. Simply change the filter of the existing ones and add relations to the items that count towards your grade. I chose to do this in the exam row since this is always the last graded thing I have each semester. 
In the academic plan, I added a view called GPA, which calculates your grade average, or can be used as a overview of all of your grades. This is tied to the grade calculator, so all you have to do here is to fill in any old grades that you want to add in, and a new course will automatically be added here for you. Note that due to the way grade averages are calculated, you have to edit the formula manually to get the correct calculation. But I've tried to make it as easy as possible, so all you have to do is edit the formula in GPA and replace the last number with the number you see in the credits GPA sum. Lastly, I made some updates to the career page as well. There was a bug with the connection to the people database, which is now fixed. I also added filters so that old job applications don't show up on the main pages, but have their own landing page and past applications. Here I also deleted some unnecessary pages and I added some tips in the cover letter and CV outline page. Now I'm going to walk you through how to do the complete setup for the university page. First, we're going to set up the classes that you're having this semester. Let's head over to the master schedule and add a new view. Now you can see all the example information I've added and we will delete this view later. Click on course, configure options, and write a tag name for the classes that you're having this semester. This can be a short abbreviation of what the class name actually is, or a code or whatever you want. Go back to the uni page and click new on courses to add your new classes. Use the new class template. In the course name, write the same tag as you did for the master schedule and use the same color for coherence. Scroll down to the table and click on filter. In the two empty filter boxes, add the course tag and the name of the class page, the one you're in right now. Repeat this with the assignment, important dates, and active recall view. And now you set up a class. Set up all of your other classes for this semester in the exact same way. In these class pages is where you want to add everything that is related to that class. The master schedule is more of an overview of all of your classes and where you add only exams and quizzes, but we will come back to this a bit later. Now that you've set up all of your current classes, it's time to set up the classes you've had from previous years. This is important so that the grade calculator works correctly. You may skip this step if you're a first year student or if you don't want to use the grade calculator. So let's head over to the full academic plan. You can just edit the classes that are already there or delete them and add new ones. Drag the classes to what year they belong to. You can of course add and delete years. To add a year, click the add a group button and to delete a year, simply click the three dots and select delete. In this example, I'm going to write as if I am a second year bachelor student, so I only need the three years. You can also rename the year tags if you have any other preferences. Now that all of your old classes are added, let's head over to the grade calculator. In the grade calculator, you will see the grading scale that I've used for all of the grading formulas. 
if you use a different scale just delete this and add your own or tweak the numbers if you have different percentages for the exact same grades. This page is for you to keep track of your current semester grades. Whilst in the academic plan you have a GPA page that is the grades for your completed classes. And if you have a pass fail class, you just have to make the grade to 101% and it will automatically calculate it as a pass. To set up the calculator to your grading scale, click on the grade column and edit formula. If you use the Norwegian grading scale, you can just edit the numbers to match the percentages that your university uses as this differs a little from university to university. I've also added some formulas that you can just copy and paste for the American grading scale and UK classifications. And if you use any other grading scale, you can use these as an outline. You can just copy these and edit them so that they fit your grading scale. But remember to not change the formatting of the formulas so that they still work. And if you're adding more grades than are in the formulas or having less grades that are, than are already in the formulas, Remember to delete the parentheses so that they are correct. If you have duplicated my workspace before this was added, you can simply just copy the callout boxes and add them to your workspace. Now that the formula is set up, you can head back to the academic plan and go to courses and credit. Click on the GPA column and edit the formula to work for your grading scale, or hide the column if you don't calculate grade averages. Write in the grades that you got for your previous classes in the old grade column. Then click the column and select hide. Then you can click the GPA column, select edit formula and replace the final number in the formula with the number you see in sum of credits GPA. Okay, everything is set up now, so let's head back to the master schedule and delete all of the example information that we saw earlier. When everything is deleted, you can delete the view as well, and now you have your very own workspace set up for university. Back in each course, you can now add all your assignments, lectures, and other important things. If you have labs in your class, simply duplicate the lecture or assignment view and change the filter to lab before adding your lab sessions. Let's say that I have three assignments this semester and two of them count towards my final grade. Then I'm just gonna add these like so and write how many percent each of the assignments counts in the notes. This is important to add because this is how the grade calculator will know that it's a graded item. And I also have an exam in this class, so I'm just going to add this as well. When I now head over to the grade calculator, I see that all the three graded items are here and the one assignment that isn't graded is not. Now throughout the semester, I can add how much I got on each assignment and what the total score was when I know that information. 
In the exam row, I can add the exact same information, but I can also add the relations to all of the graded work in that class. And then lastly, add a relation to the class in the academic plan if this isn't here already. When you've finished the class for the semester, change the tag from current semester to 2021-22, and now you can see your grade in that class along with your other grades in the academic plan. And that concludes the complete tour of my Notion and the setup guide. If you're interested in duplicating my Notion, you can do so by clicking the link in the description. I really hope you found this video helpful in organizing and setting up your Notion for the new academic year. And if you want another tutorial that shows more of the basics, you can go to my other Notion video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.